Good morning. Welcome back to Veteran Revivals. I'm Art, a veteran idiot. This is Earl. And today we need to take a road trip, make sure that this guy is ready for the Hot Rod Power Tour and the Run of the Pines, which is coming up in the next couple weeks or so. Well, three, three or four weeks, somewhere around there. Anyways, gotta make sure it's good, gotta make sure your gears are good, and then it can travel on the highway without losing things and or breaking down which I'm pretty confident that it'll be okay, but we just gotta make sure. Got the Hey Dudes on today because Fatty McFatty Fat Fat Doc over there, that Fatty McFatterson swatting his tail around, stepped on my toes, about ripped three of them off. So in turn, we got the comfy shoes on. I'm a little gimped on this side though, but time is running out, we need to get on the road. It's about two hours to Tucson, 122 miles. We're going down to Tucson Dragway as kind of like a little reminiscent trip. This time last year, we were headed out to duct tape drags and we took Earl and he had the straight six 240 in it. Got about 18 miles a gallon. I don't think that's happening with this guy. We got twice the engine in it, but it'll be a little, you know, nostalgia reminiscence trip, except for we're taking the I-10 all the way down rather than the back roads. But we need to get on the road. So I'm gonna start loading up all this stuff. Got some uh, precautionaries we're gonna bring with us, but let's go ahead and get all that business loaded up. That's all of it. Let's get this sucker fired up, get on the road, because I'm already sweating. It's supposed to be 111 today, so yikes. Should be fine, should be all right. All right. All right, we're all ready to go. Cameras are all set up, everything's loaded, fueled up, and we are, looks like 119 miles from Tucson Dragway, so an hour and 55 minutes. If we were doing 75, which we're not, we'll probably do about 65 max. Look at these ponies over here are all fired up, bucking and farting. There's a little colt over in the corner. Anyways, I'm already sweating my uh, nethers off, so we're gonna go ahead and get on the road, get some air flowing through this cab. See you on the other side. So we're about halfway. Earl is doing fantastic. Cruising 2600 RPM, 10 to 12% throttle. Just nice. Beautiful. 208 degrees, which kind of expected. It doesn't have a shroud and we're doing 2600 RPM, but for a 460, it's, it's doing good. I uh, had to pull over here in Picacho, just check everything out, check the oil and everything else like that. This guy here is the last known uh, volcano in Arizona, or so I've been told. I used to stop here all the time as a kid with my mom on the way to my grandma's house. The one thing I don't remember about this place is the adult bookstore. Interestingly enough, you gotta have volcanoes and adult bookstores, and then right down the street is an actual ostrich farm. And no, I'm not kidding. There is a farm with ostriches right down this frontage road. All right, I'm gonna check the oil and everything, and let's get back on the road. Still got a full tank. That's awesome. Well, 
we made it. There's like a 10 mile an hour breeze right now and it feels amazing. Absolutely amazing. Not that it was crazy hot in there, but there ain't a whole lot of ventilation when you try and close the window so you don't go deaf. Ventilation decreases dramatically. We made it, no issues at all. This truck did amazing. Now we're only halfway, but I couldn't be happier so far. For those of you that are not familiar with Earl, Earl used to be a 240 in line six that I picked up. I got the truck for like five grand and everything and it was immaculate. The patina, everything stayed the same. The engine was in great condition, all the parts, everything. Fantastic. Uh, the 240 with the three speed Negrani was kind of, it left a lot to be desired. And I want to use this truck to haul and stuff like that. So we found this, it's 460 right here. This beauty girl, ooh, she's warm. Got it out of uh, this piece of crap. Swapped it in with the C6, uh, ran the factory intake and the factory 600 for, Holly 600 for a little bit. Uh, wasn't that great and, and also went ahead and upgraded to the YN intake manifold and the Sniper 2 and this thing has been fantastic ever since. I'm sorry if the wind is cutting into the audio a little bit but everything in here looks great. I keep smelling coolant but I can't see where it's dripping. I think maybe just a little drip underneath this guy here. Maybe we'll hit it with a little wrench. Uh, but everything else is great. Just fantastic. Got a little leaky over there on the PCV, but not worried about that at all. Anyways, we are halfway. I didn't want to go into the race park. The gate is open, but it looks like they're doing something down there. And duct tape drags is in a couple weeks, so they might be filming or doing something. There's a bunch of vehicles down there on the track and I don't want to mess with them. So let's go ahead and close this hood, get on down to the gas station. I need to kind of rig up a little overflow for this to maybe that's what I'm smelling. And we'll see what we're tossing for coolant. Check the oil, check tire pressures, maybe throw some food in the mouth and down into the belly and then get back on the road. All right, cool, so we topped off. We ran through all the math on this guy. It was, so the speedometer is off a little bit in here. And that's because of the new gear ratio that we put in. So when you're doing 58 on the speedometer, you're actually doing 65. And so that difference comes out to like 11%. So odometer on here said 108 miles for the trip. 11% added onto it, 119 miles. The amount of gallons it took was 9.6. So 119, 9.6, you get 12.5 miles to the gallon that is not bad that is definitely a lot better than i thought it was going to be how my uh 91 mustang gt got 13 miles to the gallon with fifth gear overdrive so 12 and a half this thing is just <laughs> sipping on the gas at 2600 rpm it i couldn't have asked for more from this 460 but I keep smelling radiator fluid, so what I'm going to do is we're going to put together... Hi, little bee. How about you go somewhere else? Please. I don't want to get stung in the nethers. Thanks. Go away. All right. He's gone. We're safe. Nope. He's back. All right. So I'm going to put a bottle on here on the overflow and see if we catch anything coming out. And maybe that's just where it's burping out. But I don't... I don't know. I'm going to tighten some of the hose clamps too. I think maybe that upper hose radiator hose is uh, doing a little dribbling down and running down off the back of the engine maybe, but it's all dry. So you know, let's put that bottle on there and see if we can't tighten some hose clamps. Oh, where'd my bottle go? Hello? Oh, there it is. All right. So I poked a hole in the top of this guy. I'm going to shove this down in here and we'll zip tie it on there. Oh, I have to make the hole a little bigger. There it goes. Shoot, may not even need zip ties. It's holding on to itself there. That's how you jerry rig. All right, let's tighten this hose clamp. Oh, she's pretty tight. I don't know why I want to crank any more on it. That one's tight. That one's tight. These are tight. That one's tight. That one's a little loose. Those are tight. Let's see what the oil looks like. Pretty good. It's cooled down enough. A little low, let's throw some in. 
But every time I fill this thing up, it burps out this overflow. So hopefully we'll catch some of it and it'll suck it back in. May have to get a bigger overflow just from the expansion. All right, so maybe it was a lot low. All right, well, let's see how she does. That's all we can do. Good girl. Intend to get one of those rolling totes for the trip on power tour. That way I can take it out, roll it into the hotel room at the end of the day, and not leave it on the truck. All right, let's get the HE double hockey stick out of here. It is so ridiculously hot. I've drank every water bottle that I had in the truck and started eating the ice. It's, it's hot. I'm here to tell you, it is really, really hot. So I'm gonna get out of the truck now. We made it 240 miles in this guy with zero issues. And I'm not even gonna call the coolant thing. It was, yeah, it went good. Doc, do you feel bad for stepping on my foot last night? Hmm? Do you feel remorse for that? Probably not. What? Where was I at with that? Oh, I'm not even gonna count the coolant thing because uh, I could smell it, but it wasn't like spewing out everywhere. So it's just something I need to follow up with, along with the 12 volt accessory, the cigarette lighter, the power to that stopped working. And what else we got? I need to change the diff fluid. That was a known though. We're in our break in. And we didn't burp any out. There's nothing in the bottle. So we didn't burp it out. I can still smell it in here, but I can't see anywhere that's wet. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it, keep filling it up. But I would call that a success. And I couldn't be prouder of this little truck. It's a good truck. This thing drives so well so easy to drive just a couple fingers on the steering wheel it's just it's a great truck it just really really needs some air conditioning like really really bad i need to get a tote for the trip one with wheels like i said before and it's going to be cool by the time we do this trip ish cool ish so i'm not too worried about it. oh another thing is this thing needs tint the sun through the back window, I'm pretty sure I got third degree burns on my back of my neck, but uh, that was a success. This thing is ready to roll. Just some couple checkups here and there, but that's it. This thing is rocking. That's a fuel bleeding off from the fuel cap here. She got some pressure. The fuel was hot going back into that tank. So anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. Made it home, went to Tucson Dragway, made it all the way back home, no issues. 12 and a half miles to the gallon that is a solid win for me thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment subscribe check out the merchandise at veteranrevivals.com and share with your friends show them what we're working with here make sure this channel gets out so we can get some subscribers and i can get some money in to buy some cool stuff i don't think that's how that works but one can hope right anyways share with your friends I'm sure they'd like to see this stuff too. Thanks for watching. As always, have fun.